This sports broadcast made possible with support from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling. Powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town. Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at imawiseguy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at tomtheplumberinc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. We have returned to right here to Jacobs High School and the great uh, James Eagle Holiday Classic as we are getting ready for the championship game of this 2023 campaign. There you see Wabansi Valley, the Warriors, getting ready. You just met the dad of one of the players on Lake Zurich, did you not, sir? Yes, we did. He came up and talked to us about how much fun this was, and he loved being here. They were traveling to Pekin before, and he said, this is a much better trip, and he <laughs> felt a much better tournament. So that made me feel real good about their being here. And, and that we're was really happy to have the Lake Zurich Bears here in our tournament. That's the dad of Kane Kreshmar. So that's a little backdrop for Lake Zurich. We'll have our national anthem. We appreciate everyone being aboard with us here for this great uh, four-day event, Coach. Uh, once again, it's been uh, a wonderful time for the gathering. Folks really enjoy their basketball, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, four days of nothing but basketball and food. Yeah, right. uh, the food's always good. The food's always good. The officiating's always good. And the basketball's good. The officials tonight, we got state class officials against Kevin Moore has uh, actually called state championship games. And David Truckworth is here and Josh Schroeder. So we have three top flight officials for this championship game. And there they are. And right that's there. what it's all about. We got the good food, we got the great officials, and we have two outstanding teams here tonight. I believe Lake Zurich has two losses for the year. Wawazi Valley has not been defeated yet this year. It's going to be quite a game tonight, and we look for good play both sides of the floor. And our hospitality man, Kevin. Oh, Kevin in the hospitality Isn't that group. Isn't great? He's the you put on 12 pounds, He's a, but yeah. look good still. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> I'll get back to my running soon. Yeah, I know, I thought so. Yeah. We'll have our national anthem in just a little bit as we get ready for that right here. The, a nice crowd on hand again. We had a chance to talk with one of the dads, and it was a very local crowd in the contest before, so we're looking forward to a good game, Coach. Yeah, I think this is Lake Zurich's first venture in our tournament. We're really happy to have them here because they're always competitive, they're local, they're going to bring people when they're uh, having a good year, and they're always having yeah. a good year. And we love having Wabonzi Valley back. They were here in the past. They actually won the tournament a couple years ago. Then we uh, were missing them uh, last year. Now they're back. And it's just two great programs going up against each other tonight. And who sets the stage for it? We'll have a national anthem and then exciting game action coming our way. Our final game uh, of it is we appreciate everybody being aboard. This, uh, uh, of course, uh, being our really our 32nd game and the 12th game for you, Coach. You're really working on it. And uh, we're going to get a chance for our national anthem and then get ready for basketball action and championship play from Algonquin, Illinois, and the James Hinkle Holiday Classic as we rise as one now for our national anthem.
we get ready right here. We settle back in our seats in our broadcast booth here. And let's meet the starting lineups for our championship game. Coming your way, the Bears will be introduced first. Probably the first man will be the son of the dad. Kane Kretschmar, we should ask him about that name, Kane, because Dad was just here. That's no surprise, 6-3. Ryan Carroll will be next. He is a senior. We should see next. Connor Strauss, who is a 6-4 junior. Next in line, it would be what we talked last yesterday, Nick Popovich, 23, a 6-3 senior. He was, we also saw his mom at 41. Stredikoff. Anton Stredikov, that is your five for the Bears of Lake Zurich. Now the Lavonsi Valley Warriors, who have shown well this year. As Coach said, they have not lost. Trey Blissett, number three, will start. Then we should see Moses Wilson, a 6'4 junior. Moses can do just about anything on the court, Coach. After that, Ryan Morton will draw the starting assignment. 6'2 lad, this is the forward. Plays a lot of guard. And then we should say Tyreek Coleman. Tyreek, member, who will be of the all tournament team. And Matt Cecil, we've been calling Sesame, but it's going to look like it's going to be as if it was S E A C S O M, is what it is. S E S S O M, he spells it. But we like to we see some more. Yeah, of see some this more. Team. We'll just think of Sea Hunt. <laughs> see wow. Looking forward to this. You know, I've been saying all week. I just hope someone makes Labonte Valley break a sweat. I think Labonte Valley could win the state championship, but I want to see them work to win the Hinkle Holiday Classic Championship. Here we go. Lake Zurich is the team that could do it. And let's see. There's a battle going nice on right battle, away. Nice battle, nice battle. They won the first Start battle, out. the Bears Kane did. Chris Bears got the first battle. Got that tip. All right. This defense is so very good for Labonte Valley. Let's see what Lake Zurich can do and see if they get into their big man. Dark uniforms for Lake Zurich. There's the first whistle of the game. Well, they're trying to get in there right away because I'm telling you, he can control the ball game if they get it into Strelnikov. He is a power inside. Cease of the foul. Inbound. Hey, here's a oh, shot. Nice. No, it doesn't go. Shot by, that was by Strauss, was it? Fast break. And fast break. Boy. Go ahead. Their transition game is just magnificent. Labonte Valley beat everyone down the floor, got an easy layup. Yeah, fast break was about 1.1 second. Hey, down deep, I got a shot, maybe is he taken it away? Taken away by Ryan Morton for yeah. Labonte Valley. Up court, they come quickly. He won't be able to put the ball on the floor. He'll be have to turn and shoot in there. Yeah, got to get rid of quick. Yeah. Labonte is so quick dropping down and helping. And they are fast at all ports, as you can see on the court, moving around here. Nice defense here by the Bears, keeping them away a little bit. That they lane are. doesn't open up. Then forced to take a long three. That's not going to go rebound. Take it out by Big Anton. Let's see how the Bears respond. It's Strauss. Here he is in forecourt. Back it goes now. And they work it around. And the shot, long, far, not good. Rebound. Hey, they're doing another one. Rebound there by Strauss. And there's a foul. So two they foul. got two opportunities and drew a foul, Coach. Let's see if they can get the ball in for a shot here underneath their own basket. Trey set a foul. Not in the act of shooting. They inbound. And here it is, around the horn. Lake Zurich. Couple they underclassmen Carol. here. Chris Myers only a sophomore. Popovich. Carol. Strauss a junior. Carol. Strelnikoff a junior. Popovich. They're playing catch. Popovich in a crowd. Might be dangerous here, coach. Around the horn. Can they get a shot away? Oh, he went Stepped out of bounds. Out, out of bounds. Uh, Bears lose it on that one. With the, the, with the five, with the rule now of five fouls, the first one, two, three, four, and five, there is no shooting, is there? Then, then fifth we, foul. On the fifth the, foul, there's two shots. Okay. So the even one. foul, there's two shots. That's that. Unless two. it's fouled in shooting, then they yeah, go in to the shooting, line. In shooting, it would be the same way. But there's a new rule this year for each quarter starting over again. Hey, here's a layup. No, yes, it goes in. Bless it. Bless him for two. Here we go with this full court pressure from Mabonzi again. Or nothing. Can they break it? They're across the timeline. Far side. It'll be double teamed here. Morton. Carroll. Carroll looking. Back out on top. It goes to 
Kretzmar, Kretzmar, Popovich, Kretzmar, Popovich. Nick had a great defensive game last night. Big guy, Anton, land of three, angle left, no, boardwalk, here comes the fast break. Just like that, bullet pass in the lane, shot on a foul offensively. Wow, it was quick, but it didn't work that time. Back. Usually, Wabonji beats the other team. He's a replay coach. Wabonji usually beats the other team down. Lake Zurich got down quickly and threw they that did. charge. Who was that that threw the charge? It's going to be Popovich. Popovich, yeah, Popovich got down. Nice job defensively of getting back there. Wabonji runs the floor so very well. Can we get a shot away? Popovich, Kane, Kresmar. Popovich, I think the long jumper, no. Board taken down. Iowa Bonsi Valley, here we go. That's Coleman, Coleman, left, go right, dish it off, he will. Morton, around the horn. They, this Lake time Zurich they slow them down. Man to man. They slow them, yep, a little bit there. Into the lane, top of it, nothing there. They're gonna take the long jumper, Moses, for three, was it not? Wilson for three, seven nothing. Wabonsi Valley starting as they have all games, coach. Dominating <laughs> early. <laughs> I did. Come on, Bears, make them sweat. <laughs> this will bond you, Valley. You might be playing the state. You might be playing the state Here's champions, play by Bears. Custom heating and cooling, Coach. Happy holidays. I'm telling you, they're just. They're just so very special. I love this Wabonzi Valley team. I want the Bears to do so well against them because if the Bears can play with this team, they can play with anyone in the state. And I know Lake Zurich's going to be one of the powers of this area, but we've got the power of the Fox Valley area going against one of the powers of the state tonight. Yeah. This is quite a matchup here in our gym. I'm really proud of this tournament and having caliber of teams like this playing in our gym. It feels really good just to be here and witness this. No question about that. Set with four, Moses Wilson with three. That's the scoring for Avanzi Valley, and that's the scoring for the game so far with 4.52 remaining here in the first quarter. See how this will fare. You're looking to get an e a relatively easy shot off. I mean, a shot off that I'm in form, I guess. Here we go. Let's okay. see how they break this here. You can see the great trap. Far side, still in backcourt. Going to try to pass their way into forecourt. No, they go backwards with the dish. They are not across the top. Oh, there's a steal. Didn't make it across. Coleman it is, is it not? Coleman down deep, and he passes through. There's going to be a oh. foul. Good hustle back. Looks good like hustle. a good block shot, but he got some body. Connor Strauss came back and blocked that. All right, and who was fouled? Because they, they're they wearing those numbers that Number three is going uh, to the line. Close. That's good, that's Lissette. Lissette. Lissette to the line after the steal was by uh, Tariq Coleman. So to the line he goes. And again on free throws, everyone is silent except us, coach. Miss <laughs> that. No. Miss that one, he'll try again. He's human on that, still seven nothing. Championship play here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Free throw number two coming your way. Bounce of the basketball twice, spin. Crowd with a hoop, missed them both. How about that? <laughs> Same thing, Kevin's that leather lung guy. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Backcourt, can we get across the timeline? Ryan Carroll, we are, we're in fourth court. Double team, looking for help. That was Strauss. Pressure is intense. It is indeed. Now it's gonna be Popovich. Nick flings it back, Nick gets it back again. What should Nick do here, coach? Who should he look for? Well, they, we gotta get it into the big man. And they're just not able to do that so far. The, the length of all the players on Mabazi is just something else. And if they can't get it into Big 41, Strelnikov, they're going to be in for a long night because he is he is the man that can keep them in the game. But they got to get him the ball. Carol Dish, hey, land of three, rim it, no board, taken down by no one. Battle for it right there. Goes on last touch. It would be by the Bears. That was quite a battle. Right to us here it they was. fell. So uh, Coleman's all right. Let's take a look at that uh, a custom heating and cooling coach. Watch this battle, Coleman and against two bears and it goes out. Out on top, it's Tariq, Tariq, tricky dribble. Morton, out on top, take it. Back they go again. This good defense here by the bears. They're keeping man them out. The man. Keeping them out and the shot's not there. Battled for, taking away a held ball situation. 
Hell ball, it will be. Kane Kretschmar, who checked out just for a moment, right back in, 6-3, sophomore, with Dan in attendance here. It will remain with Wabansi Valley, though, inbound. Lob it, they do. Out on top. Oh, he it missed the horn man. In, oh, there's a collision. We got the basketball. Here they come. Here come the Bears. Strauss. Back to Strauss. Can we get a shot away? Yeah. He's off it. What do you do there, Coach? You see well, that? Lead over the charge. shoulder. Got a charge. Got a charge. Turnover there Moses. by the Bears. Moses has picked up a three and picked up a charge. Wow. That was the best offensive opportunity there. The 7 nothing count with 3.20 remaining here in the first quarter. Substitutions more coming in. We'll check those guys. And bringing it up will be Tariq Coleman will do the honors. Coleman. And we got Pink Shoes is coming in at the next whistle, Coach. Good. Kate. And down. Lake Zurich's playing the great lane. defense. Yeah, they keep them away. He got a score. Land of three. Angle right. No board taken down by a hard-working Ryan Carroll. Here they come quickly up court. They got across the timeline. Dish it near side. It goes to Kretzmar. Kretzmar right back to, the, back to Kretzmar. Looks right. Dribbles once. Travel. Didn't know where he was going with it, did he, Coach? Right, Somebody started shot the, out when he, he started, started pass. passing. His long arm shot out there. And he tried to hold on. Wow. That was the famous hesitation dribble you made famous in yeah, the 50s. Yeah, my traveling, yes. Seven nothing, it still remains. A baseball score or a football score with the Bears out there. Yeah, it's holding right. up for a while. See how they play it. 245, first stands are remaining. Here's Moses, Wilson, dish it left. He goes to Lissette, corner, Morton. Oh, threw it away. Turnover. Nice job. Kretzmeyer with a, the steal. Got a steal. A rare Bears steal by those guys. Bears are playing great defense. They just cannot figure out this Carroll. defense. Popovich. Popovich flings it back. They can't. They're really, the movement out there is incredible. And what do we got? Got a foul. A foul is called. It is the quickness. You're seeing a great quickness in tall team, Wabansi Valley Warriors. They, they would take a look courtesy of. Our custom meeting and cooling. Let's you take think a you see an opening, and all of a sudden it's not open. Oh yeah, it's great. Both yeah, Wilson just tap away. Wow, just so very good, so very. They, they're tall, talented, quick, great speed. Popovich, dish. He goes to Kurtz, Mar. That's actually Kurt right in front of the cane, right in front of us. Popovich, fling it down the corner. No shot there. We see Caden in there now. Number 25. Tried to get it inside, couldn't do it. Cade, we should say. His shot will be a standard jumper from the right. Good. Winnaker. Winnaker with the green the shoes. Good. He makes it 9 nothing on a conventional two. We got green shoes. We, we got black shoes. We got pink shoes out do. there for Wabashi. All colors of the rainbow moving. It's quite a night. Shot, yeah. All right. Is it, that, that's Nick Popovich with the two. Nine nothing before they score. Green Here's another one. Again. It's shot, not this time. Oh, a rebound over the back that time yeah. is Wabansi Valley. That might put the Lake Zurich in the foul line. Wow. We will. Lake Zurich has fifth. not been able to score, but they have kept themselves in this game through their great defense. They're, they got a chance now. They hit a couple free throws, be nine to four, you know, and just what Bonzi's defense is so stifling. It's really difficult to break. It is. Adrian Rep at the floor at the free throw line. R-I-E-P. 6-4 sophomore. This is that first Another one. Another sophomore in the game. Another Lake one Zurich in. is very young and very talented. At number 10 is uh, uh, Keenan Haynes. Haynes, a senior for him, but we didn't see much action from him yesterday. Shot no, miss them both. Uh, they can't Kane afford the board. that, can they? Cannot, not at all. That's got to be a good part of the point total yeah, they can't for afford victory. That. Whitaker dished it, four court, back to Whitaker. Elijah, blind pass in the corner. Skip pass out on top almost. Good defense here by the Bears. They're opening the court, extending the court a little bit. Keep them away at this moment. Let's see what Coleman does. The Bears Dish. are now in a zone defense. Trying to keep the ball outside. Blind pass, big Cade. Cade had the game of his varsity career last night. Dish it back. Back to Coleman. 48 seconds remain in the first quarter. Low scoring affair. 
Skip pass all the way from far to near. Out on top. Kane, uh, say Coleman there. Back to Coleman. Coleman Whoa. from downtown. Short. Rebound. Taken down. Still got 30 seconds that left. That was from Randall Rose. That was. Last shot. Here we go. Skip pass here to Kane. Kane, one dribble. Around the horn again, they whip it. Carroll had it for a moment. Carroll's got it again. They can't penetrate. They're playing catch and many dribbles out on top. Carroll looks dishes. I don't want it, he says. Popovich takes it. One dribble to Kane. Kretzmar from a it long is. two. Yeah. It's a two. Yeah, you got it. Good work. It's just a two. They're saying it's a two, and that's the end of the quarter. The scoreboard's going to indicate a three, but I saw the They'll referee. They'll get it switched. All it's right. two. It's a two. Nine, five it is. Okay, that's right. Let's take a look at that. Custom Indian cooling. Let's see where. Yeah, we'll get an instant replay here to see whether it's a two or three. Yeah, because he, he's in there. He steps it's in there. Yeah. A two point and, and shot. The referee's right there. Nice right? touch. Good ref. Yep. So that would make it nine four if you're charting at home. Nine four is the count. How many times do you have a nine four game, good buddy, after one quarter? Hey, good ball game. Lake Zurich's hanging right in there with their defense. Like I said, the Wabazi's defense is just near impossible to penetrate. And Lake Zurich is doing a great job of playing defense and staying in this ball game. Let's hope they can get out, score a couple buckets right away, and make this a, a game for the ages. You know, this is this is really two good teams. You know, if you came to see this game tonight, you came to the right place. These are two outstanding basketball teams. Indeed they are, and they've worked their way to the championship tilt of this one. And we're enjoying it very much. Happy you've joined us, wherever it might be. Again, all the video and audio you're hearing and seeing, Curtis and Beacon Academy, and the youngsters and great crew of South Elgin High School here in Illinois. So let's see what would happen. This is an important possession right here yeah. in the coach. Big this man's going back in. Strong to call. Yeah, Lake Zurich come right down and score. Get some confidence in, in being able to score. It's, it's tough. Popovich. Okay, oh. back to Popovich. They got a new man in there now. It's going to be uh, Adrian back in there now, number 14. Out on top, Carroll. That's it. Oh, the big guy. It's put his it moment. Up, Can he do it? Up. He Get does. Up. Short. Uh, Rebound. Mandelcorp. Nobody's hey, got hustle. it. And it's going to go this way. Good hustle by wow. the sophomore Kretschmar. It was. So now, Zurich will Let's inbound. see if we got an out of bounds play. Maybe we can get a bucket off of. It's going to be throwing it in. Popovich. Nick with mom watching. Well, Lob it. Oh, look. he had an open man. Oh, he couldn't see. get, didn't see him, did he? To uh, Kretzmar. Kretzmar. Far side to Carroll. Back it goes. Carroll. Kretzmar. Kretzmar. Carroll. In the lane. He was dribble driving. Lawson got it back, flung it in. No. The shot went, but didn't go, and Cade will be fouled, it looks like. Yep. Cade Malik, the 6'6 kid, a junior, who saw the most playing time of his career last night. He oh. here early again tonight with a big yeah, rebound there. the game last night. He did. It's going to be Whitaker inbounding for Wabansi Valley. And we had a substitution for Lake Zurich for the Bears. Check out that number in a minute. Cade with a dribble. How about that out on top? There's Blissette. Blissette spin move in the lane. Shot up and in. Trey Blissette. That's his patented move, isn't it? That's tough to stop. He's That's so quick. Stop. He, he needs a little help. That's a one on one play that he, he needs that first step. He needs some help to stop this guy. He does. That, that was Strauss trying to a, stop him. That's a great move. Yeah. That's quickness. He, you, you're lost on that first step he makes, aren't you? He's yeah. already by you. Yeah. It, it, that was like just playing one on one. And Free that throw. man can't be stopped one Good. on one. 12 for the count. We were 9 4. At the quarter break, 7.05 remains. Second quarter, backcourt pressure, still in backcourt. Looking to get it over. They got new man in there. Number two is actually in there now. Evan Peterson. Evan with it. They're really hounding the ball hammers down there, aren't they? They keep the ball. Boy, they're really attacking the ball, aren't they? The guys out on top dribbling are going after now. I'd hate to be playing against Wabasi if I'm a player. You, they, they just, they're relentless. Yeah, it would scare you. You'd drop the basketball and run, wouldn't you, coach? <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be stolen almost. 
And it is. In a crowd, this is a breakaway. You call it at home. It is a shot that goes in and bodies fall. And that's going to be Coleman. Trey, Trey Coleman. Out of bounds play. There was just too much traffic. They need to open that up a little bit instead of having two guys standing right next to each other trying to get it in. Couldn't get it to the big man. Kretzmar far side. Throws it away. Steal. Throw it ahead. Dish it off. Kane's going to flush. Alec for flush. Wow. Time out there. 16 to 4 is the count. And Wabansi Valley as a squad are loving it, coach. Let's wow. see that replay by Kane. Wow. That's good. That's great. It's a great flush for the kid. Wow. Yeah, they have speed and can come up now with more men off the bench. And, and just as you said, it would be difficult wow. for any other squad in your tournament this year, coach, to get Wabansi Valley to break a sweat. It is. No one's done it yet. I honestly believe you can take the five best, next best players in this tournament, play with Bonzi Valley, and you couldn't beat them. I, I am just super, super impressed with Wabonzi Valley. I, I hope they stay healthy and, and just continue to improve because they are special. Look for these guys as the year goes by. Follow this team. Ready from the good folks at McDonald's that are a long time out here. You know that their family McDonald's supporting our local community since 1967. Before and after the game, stop by one of their 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. www.bearfamilyrestaurants.com. Bear Family Restaurants, McDonald's, your favorite coach. And this is your tournament, so it all works. <laughs> here we go. Let's see if we can break this and the Bears can break this pressure. Kretzmar. Hey, they're in fourth court. They're in fourth court with little Evan Peterson out there. He throws it away. Watch this flush. There it is. Wow. Goal in the flush. You knew that was coming, didn't you, Coach? A steal and a flush. That's our car carry play. <laughs> we need Tom the plumber here. That's they're right. They're flushing so much. If you will. All right. Let's see how it's Adrian back in there. Reap out on top. Nick Popovich. Not and always a score, but... these offense comes from their defense so much. Yes. Their transition game is where they score the majority of their points. They do. And the quickness they steal uh, gets the fast break. Unbelievable. Scooping. And everyone runs the floor. Can't get close here, Coach. Cannot get close. Here it is. Big guy's got a dribble in the lane here. Spin move. Yeah. That's what you got to do. When you get him the ball, he's got to really man. do yep. it. Good move. 18-6 it is. Cade, okay. dish it off. Coleman, far right side. Here's a dribble drive here. Will he shoot? No. He'll pass. They're thinking about a long three there. Instead, it's going to be a pass. They're really moving, not getting real close this time to the hoop. Cade, around the horn. Morton, and it's going to be no good. Ryan Morton with the shot. He doesn't shoot often. That wasn't the best shot, you would say, <laughs> as a coach, would it? Hey, quickly up court. It's going to be all oh, the charge by Popovich, wasn't it? No, it was, yeah, he got the charge, but Morton. That was so good after Martin missed the three. He hustled back on defense and drew the charge. This is our dunk by Coleman. Yeah, that's great. That's very fluent for a high school kid to do that dance is, you know, so quick. It's like Dr. J 40 years ago. Yeah, these kids really are special. They are. They lead still 18 to 6. See Whitaker with it right now. Dished it off. Around the horn, they'll work it. Coleman has it for a while. Out on top. Be Moses back to drive there. Cade is offensive minded. Holy cow. We made that kid a star. <laughs> Valley it's is the pink shoes. <laughs> That's right. It's the shoes. You'll remember those shoes forever. It's the 21 shoes. 6. That's great. Uh, steal foul. Reach in foul. So that's how it stands, a 9-4 uh, first quarter. Now a 21-6 second quarter is the count. 4-21 remain here in the first half. Tyler Threat will check in for Wabansi Valley, the six-foot senior. Tyler, number two. There's action here. Dish it off, a flush, yes. Trey Blissett with that flush. They lead the league in that, don't they? They'll lead the country in that for high it. school. 23 to 6. 
Be their bench is up, leading the kids on, or actually sitting down, but making a lot of noise. Big guy down low. No. Rebound. Big guy down low. No. Do it again. It goes the other way. Oh, it was like the touch there. Uh, Morton had it, but lobbed it away. Goes on this side. Remains in the hands of Lake Zurich. Wow. A lot of action there. <laughs> Not much point, but a lot of action. No points, but a lot of action. Popovich will inbound for court near side. Referees, we're getting a substitute here? Yeah, we are. Substitute is coming in. Connor Strauss will check back in, a 6'4 junior, as Adrian goes out. Anton, Popovich, Strauss will bring rain, but not two. Rebound, Cade. Wow. Alec, outlet, here they come. Is there a shot? Right side, Cade looks left, dish it that way. This is going to be the set. What will he do with it? He dishes back. He'll get it back here. Is he headed to the hoop? Well, there's a tricky dribble. He'll stop and pop by sending it back. No, but the rebound battle for looks like over the back. Let's see what they whistled on here. I thought it might be over the back, but it might That's be called. That's going to be on Lake Zurich. I think. Lake Zurich, the Bears will get the call, will be called. Kretzmar is first, team fourth. So we shoot everything from this point when they would commit a foul. Obansi Valley would. Inbounding. It's Morton out on top. Seem like they're more passive on this uh, location here, aren't they? Well, they score off their transition. That's where they score. That's their half court offense it's is not real strong, as you said. Just, Over and back know, right there. Yeah, yeah. you said that all, all week long. Transition is where is their game. Yeah, the speed, the quickness, the height. The defense, the, the turnovers, the quick conversion. Just so you've got to. Here comes another flush our way on our rebound. Our custom heating and cooling. Let's see what we got here. And yeah. You could do that in your day, couldn't you, Coach? <laughs> that was what's that. Here we go. Down deep, big guy's gonna shoot, spin move from behind, he's fouled. All right, good drop step. He is fouled, Coleman the foul it would look like. And he'll go to the line, big hat Todd will go to the line. If you just walked into the gym and we're watching this game right now, you're not getting a true picture of how good Wabonzi Valley is because Lake Zurich is a great ball club. And they're just handling them like high school against middle school right now. And Lake Zurich, I'm telling you, is an outstanding club. If you would have seen Lake Zurich the last three days, you'd know how good they are. If you just walked in now, you'd be going, oh man, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. You're seeing a potential state champion out here playing right here at Jacobs High School. And town made it both, 23-8 the count. Bring it up, we're gonna see uh, Fitzgerald back in, uh, Whitaker, we should say, back in there, Elijah. Now it's Coleman again, Coleman. Far side back to Tariq. Tariq looks over again. This half court game not as successful for them. He forgot the basketball, but got it back. He dropped it and came back <laughs> yeah, for it. Did. Here's going to be three, and it's going to be no. Rebound taken down by Lake Zurich. Here they come. They get it in four court. Heavy traffic outside. Far side now. Bring it back out. Out on top. Dick Popovich looks right. Points right. Dish it right there to. Kresmer and around the horn they work it. Kane out on top. He'll dribble once. They really can't penetrate here, can't they, Coach? No, they can't. They can't get to the big guy, except they do now. There and he got opens it up for himself. Oh, no, oh. he missed it. But he, it's taken up by Strauss's foul. When they get it in there, he's got to finish. Then. Yes. That, that was a nice, nice pass inside that time to the big man, Anton. So Strauss will go to the line and he'll replay that play. Watch the big guy get it. He missed it. Was going to go in, had it lost it. His teammate fell into his shoulder area there, yeah. and he drew a foul. So 23 8 it is. Kane, uh, we should say, Strauss would go to the line. See if he can get his team a bit closer. 145, first half remaining. This one is good. 23 9. Trey Blissett back in for Whitaker. Substitution for Wabansi Valley. Second free throw coming your way. We will talk with members, and Coach will be out there with us on our post game. We'll talk with members of the winning squad. This one, no, in and out. Rebound taken down by Trey. Trey on the gallop. Now, Trey can run the court. This is like transition, Coach. 
That's what Trey does good. It was like I transitioned myself all the way down. Yeah, he did. And he puts up, he's got 11, 25-9. That was a pretty play right there but in any league. Beautiful play. Kresmar, Nick Popovich. Flings it in the corner, they can shoot there, and it's no good, rebound. Taken down by Whitaker, actually still in there. Elijah Whitaker, Whitaker, outlet. Near side dish. Shot will come from Kane, no. He's really getting, uh, right, he's, not he's bashful anymore. Getting some open looks, isn't he? He is. Here's Strauss in the lane, blocked by Kane. Oh, Velik is having himself wow. a night. He is, two games. He became a varsity team member in the last couple yeah, of games, didn't he? He's look good. 25-9, will they hold it here? Let's see how they play it. No, they'll shoot from downtown, that's short. Uh-oh, might have had a rebound there, but he slipped, and it's gonna be brought up yeah, by the Bears and Lake Zurich. Yeah, he was coming in, and he had that rebound corralled, it looked like, and just slip of the foot went out from under. Donovan Neal will check in. Donovan, number 21 for Labonte Valley. They got that backcourt pressure. The, the one, two, two, loosely, and the one way up there, yep, if you will. Yep. And a little ball pressure. And one, two, two. They'll bring it. It's going to be there by Ryan Carroll. Far side. Big guy there, back on the wing. 28 seconds on the first half clock. Near side dish to Strauss. Strauss, one dribble. He goes to Carroll. Carroll dish it far side to Popovich back to Carroll. Carroll as it once again now near side actually now they switch positions. Carroll on the right, 10 seconds. Here's a shot, shot, bring it up and in. That's Popovich for two. Well done. Shot no. That's going to be it right there. Nine four. It was at the end of one quarter. At the end of the first half, it is for Avanti Valley Warriors 25 and Lake Zurich 11. Coach, a quick thought from you. <laughs> the Lake Zurich coach thinks there should be time left on the clock. He's arguing for another second to go up there so that they can get the ball out of bounds. And I, you know, he's got a legitimate argument. I wish we could show that again yeah. because that ball hit the back or the paraphernalia was out of bounds with something. And some time ran off. Uh, all right, so 25-11 is, Coach. Any other thoughts for us before we, we got, we'll, we'll, we'll show you all the highlight package coming our way, and we'll roll that custom heating and cooling. Here it is, Coach, that's our first half, 25-11, Avanti Valley.
You saw the score right there. Now we're going to tell you about one of the great sponsors that we have, Rosen Hyundai. Find a new or pre-owned vehicle today. Save time with Express Online Buying Made Simple. www.rosenhyundai.com and www.genesisofalgonquin.com. Three, two, one. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. We're in tune. We want to travel to custom heating and cooling. You know that, custom heating and cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. They're powered by Bryant. You know what that means. Whatever it takes. That's Custom Heating and Cooling. www.customheating.com. We appreciate all the great sponsors. We wouldn't be here without these sponsors, Coach. Absolutely. Well, we, we wouldn't be here but for a lot of it. A lot, yeah, lot, well. lot of medications as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, that's right. right. If I didn't have my 14 pills a day, <laughs> I wouldn't be here. We've got young kids in the truck. They, <laughs> they just have vitamins. Yeah. All right, well, we haven't, what you said would, has to happen before anything would happen. Not a sweat has been broken yet by Wabansi Valley. No, no, I, I, I keep hoping we'd see them break a sweat, but so far it hasn't happened. They just play so effortlessly and so smoothly, and their defense is just just so very good. You just can't penetrate it. It's real hard to get a good shot against them. And bringing the ball up court, you just you can't get into your offense. So I, I'm just super impressed with the Bonzi because I know how good Lake Zurich is. And they're struggling to stay where they are, only 14 points behind at halftime. And that's what it is, 25-11. We'll have our post game. We'll, we'll have the coach himself, the master of this tournament, the James Hink Holiday Classic. We'll go out there and chat with the, the winning squad and get a chance to look at the trophy in the distance as well. We'll have that for you at the end of this game as we conclude this being the 32nd game and broadcast, if you will, for Beacon Academy of this tournament. Again, thanks to uh, Ben Erickson and all his instructors for the great work they do and the kids that go on to have incredible careers. Oh, this is a great, great program. I don't know why more high schools don't have a program similar to this, but he's sending people out all over the country to do the jobs in broadcasting. We have people in ESPN. We have people Everywhere. in colleges. We have people working in all places all over the country from this very program. The Beacon Academy in South Belgium, led by Ben Erickson, just a fabulous program. One of the grads, a recent grad of ISU, went up to Rockford and did a morning, uh, did the noon time show. She is now involved as a 10 o'clock anchor in Rockford, Illinois. Just recently, that was announced by them, and she's a recent college grad. Here we go, Coach. Uh, you know, a lot of things have to happen. Lake Zurich has to somehow find a way to to get a shot or two, don't they? Yeah, they do. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how that's going to be. Uh, We'll just, we'll see if uh, Terry Coughlin, their coach, can give them a, a bit of advice on how to get the better shots off. But I'll tell you, it's not, after he gives advice, they got to go out on the floor and do it. And it's hard. It's difficult, no matter what you're trying to do against Wabonzi Valley. So here we go. It's going to be inbounding. First by Wabonzi Valley, Ryan Morton. What are we yelling out? Somebody's yelling out something. Instructions there. What was that? 13 is something. Morton inbound. That, that, that's Morton. Coleman out on top. Coleman spins around. Oh, oh down great. Deep Moses Pass. missed. He missed too far that's under. Nice shot. Yeah, they stopped nice him on defense. that one. Here's nice Popovich. Defense. He flings it. Land of three. Angle right, but a foul. He's going to the free throw line for three shots. Wow. Uh, that's one of the first real. Let's see that replay, Coach. Uh, Watch it by custom eating and cooling. That ball was set up to get a three-point shot, and that's one of the first mistakes that Wabonte Valley's really made. That falling that three-point shooter is a, a real error. And it's Kresmar with Dad watching. Kane Kresmar hit the first, 6-3 Southmore doing well. He said the team went down to what, Peoria last year? What did he do? He said they, they went to a tournament in Peoria wow. Christmas time. And they, they love it here. They love coming here. Uh, yeah, we love having them. He came over. You're the creator of this tournament. Thank you, didn't he? Yes, it did. Sa yes, it did. The uh, next one, 25-13. Three for three. Yeah. No, better than basket. That, that knocked it down a little bit. That did. Here we go. 
25-14, it could be a game at this point. Lake Let's Zurich see. in that man-to-man. -man. Especially with Wabonsi Valley not scoring a lot in the, the half-court offense, if you will. No. Keep it that way as much as you can. You might play with them. Down deep, swing it up. No, a rebound, and then lost. In a crowd, up and in. See self put that in. That was a Stop. bad break because they had the rebound. Once, but then they do it. stole the ball away and put it I back I almost up. saw that, uh, the first perspiration on that one. Yeah. yeah, but quickly, no, but a foul. Let's see if goaltending they want to call. Let's see what they whistle here. 27-14 is the score. And what do they call here, Coach? What do they they call goaltending. Oh, they, okay, 27-16 goes up on the scoreboard. It is goaltending. So it's a mini run. You can't do that. Yeah. That's what the fans usually chant. It, you can't do that. It's a 5-2 run here, <laughs> Coach. My Lake Zurich. Here we go. Mort. Around the horn, they're working. They're working a weave out on top. If there is a weakness, it's this right here, as you said, Coach. They're not good at setting up plays like no, that. No, they're not a half-court team. They're, if teams can get them to play half-court, that's when they're vulnerable. Strauss the foul, Moses, Moses Wilson, we should say, will inbound. In four court, near side. Let's see how the half court will work here. To Morton. Morton, the point guard, looks, dishes. Brown, they work it now. It's going to be Coleman, is it not? Coleman into the corner, brings it back out. The pass going to Blissett. Set. Here it is going to be the jumper right side. Not good. That's by... For them, that was a uh, defense seven. by the Bears. Yeah, boy, the pacing's changed here a little bit. Basket here, Get we it. might have perspiration. Oh. No, it's halfway down the, or third of the way down. And here's what the fast break is all about. Here's all the, the way up. Dish it, land a three. No, that's an air ball. We'll take it. Popovich, the board. He outlets. Fire having to, a game. To uh, Carroll, shot. Yeah, it's a three. Popovich, Popovich a three. We have had they an eight the floor. three run here, Coach. Eight three. The Bears, Lake Zurich. Bears I see sweat. Ready to play Do I get sweat? <laughs> here we go, Morton. Morton is a big one here. The momentum that way. Morton, not much of a shooter, will get in trouble. And more trouble. Backward dish. Good moment here for your Lake Zurich Bears. The shot tough. Doesn't go. Rebound Popovich. They can get awfully close on this one. Kretschmeyer with a rebound. Oh, uh, Kretschmeyer with it. Down deep, shot, yeah. big guy, yeah! It is 27-21. The Bears are in the game. They are indeed. Coach it, Coughlin. It's a 10-3 run. Yeah, Ten Coach Coughlin run. got him ready for the second half, and they are playing some ball. Now you're seeing the real Lake Zurich Bears. And put it in. Do I see perspiration, Coach? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Time out it was, 5.20 remaining. If they're not sweating now, they better start sweating. Do we have a replay? I forgot what I was told. It was, see, you got a chance to see action there. Anton with that. So it's a, uh, it was 25 to 11 at the half, 27-21 now. So that's a 10-2 run. No one, I'm sure, this year has had that done to Wabonsi Valley. Maybe in the last minute when they got a 40-point lead. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't so know. It, and we go back to set up shop, you know, in that, in that half court setup that you talk about, they yeah. struggle with. They haven't bit. got that transition game this half. So here's a key possession, you would think, for this to be a, a, a game, a championship tilt. And already within six, the momentum has swung the other way. Very important clock minutes now. Here we go. Swing it back. Backcourt pressure, they're, they're, they're doing the one, two, two. They're still in backcourt now, forecourt, far side, down deep. Here comes Moses, flush. Wilson flushes. That's, that's well, their that play good, there. That was a good timeout. And, and that was a good setup Valley. offensively. Yeah, it was. 29-21. Popovich says, I got this play in mind. He's going to lose a foul. It's a reach-in foul, probably on Coleman. Coleman the foul, inbounding forecourt, near side. It will be the Bears. Oh, it's his third. That's his third foul. That's key. That's number 12 out there, Tyreek Coleman, his third foul. Around the horn, Popovich dishes in the corner. Not much there. Back to Popovich. See if they can penetrate this defense here. Popovich, there's the big guy. Swing it now, land of three, right side. No, 
board taken down by no one, and they battle for it. But my, this is the shot. Who's got it now? Who can run it down? If they do, it might be Oz going the other way. So taken back there nicely by Carroll, and he loses it. This could be a flush if he can spin around, and somebody will put it in. Coleman in, man. Action, 31-21. Even Wabansi Valley scoring, it's difficult for him to do it. They are stopping that. Popovich. That was a key moment there, though. That was. That, was, that transition going again. Yeah. Popovich down deep. Big guy. One too many passes, perhaps. He should have shot there. He was so close. That's a turnover. So it got to within 27-21. And something was cooking. Now, the clock minutes now have turned back the other way a little bit. But they'll walk it up here at the 355 mark of the third quarter, leading by 10, where Monsey Valley is. Bring it. Going to dish it back. Sesame, Sesame, we should say there. Now the Morton. I don't see Morton shooting much. Into the lane it goes. Spin move. Up shot. Pretty good. Nicely done. That would have been three. Tyler put that in. Tyler put that in. Here's the replay. But you'll be custom eating and cooling. This nice pass here, Coach. Actually put in by Trey. Trey Blissett had that, actually. Three, not two. So they made it. 33-21, so it's a 6-0 run after it got to be 27-21. And Lissette at the line. I think Wabonzi had a wake-up call on a timeout there by Coach. So. Miss it, but the board, up and in. It is Moses, put that in. Moses Wilson. So there it is, 35-21, yeah, Coach. They, the coach spoke his thoughts on that one. Into the lane. Wing popper, no board should be big guy. Put it up, no, can't get it to fall down low. They are affecting the shot shooting yeah, ability of the big yeah, guy, aren't they? Here it is. Morton had to touch it for a while. CSM has it near side. Mini dribbles, tippy toes, goes to Coleman. Coleman said, ah, Maybe I won't shoot after all. They'll set up that shot again. Three minutes remain, third quarter. CSM, posture, if you will, dish it off. Can we go around the pick? Is there a shot here? He's probably too far under. Around the horn, land of three, top of the key. No. Board taken out by Popovich. He's fouled. Good defense there by good defense. Blake Zurich. Again, you get them in the half court. They, 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 the fast motion they become, become slow. Human. They yeah. become human when they get them in the half court game. Checking the game for the Bears, number 10, Keon Haynes. Keon Haynes will check in for Lake Zurich. He's a 6'5 senior. We saw him yesterday's game. 35-21. Got as close as 6.27-21. Let's see how they can respond now. Now, deep big guy's got to score. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. And, and he, he does. And, he's and he as does. It goes. That time he didn't put it on the floor. When he puts it on the floor, he gets in trouble. Yeah, there are all close. kinds of hands after him. But he just kept that ball up high, off the glass and in, and got the foul. Santa Claus made that go. He now has eight points. He's a special player. Yeah, he is indeed. He actually had yeah, eight points on the night. Nine, yeah, he is. He just didn't take a couple shots and passed a couple times there. And he is that special. was it. Yeah, he is indeed. Here we go again. Can they cross it? They do. It might be a three on two here. Land of three with a travel, I thought. No, but the rebound. It, can he go back up? Mini dribble. Marcus Haynes impression. What do we call here? Timeout. Time timeout. Timeout right there. So timeout. 35-24 the count. 2.19 on the third quarter clock. Let's take a look at this play, Coach. You tell me. Nice board. And watch this mini dribble here. He is. He's doing. He's a trotter. He's trying out for. They were in Chicago recently. He did. He did a good job calling yeah. the timeout when he got in trouble. Custom eating and cooling brought you that. We are enjoying this tournament, this game. Certainly, we see great talent. Remember these names on Wabansi Valley, because certainly they will get some television exposure later in the season. Tom the Plumber. Tom the Plumber of Hudley, family owned for service and installations of the finest craftsmanship, honest and affordable, www.tomtheplumberinc.com. That's Tom the Plumber, and you know him so well, Coach. <laughs> I only met him once. He fixed the pipe, and he's never come back. And your voice has never been better. Oh, not no. that pipe. All right. <laughs> Here we go. 35, 24. Inbounding quickly. Here's a shot potential. In the lane. Spin move. Good move. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Wow, that was Bissett, wasn't it? That was turning in the huddle, Coach. Trey Bissett, Dave. Bissett would go one on one, take it down the lane, and get fouled. Third foul. Yeah, he used that move uh, la last time down the lane. He's so quick with that step. It's hard to stay with him. It, great move. Cressman on the foul, it looks like. Set to the line. This one is good for him. He now on the night would have 16 to lead the way. Set does 16. Popovich. Ego left. Dish it back. Play catch out on top. Popovich, point guard on this one. Looks to send it down in the corner. Dribble drive there. It will be swing it this way. Can Carroll get a shot away? Dish off Popovich back to Carroll. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cade Bellick. Good passing that time, but very good interior defense by Just try, yeah. County. Couldn't get it inside. They're looking to get it in. They just couldn't find a spot. Bob it quick. Back it go. Right on the wing again to Carroll. Carroll to Kretzmar. Back to Carroll. Kretzmar. Down deep. Big guy. Spin move. No. Tough shot. Wasn't fouled. Too much oof on that one. Yeah, they kind of pulled the chair on him. He was leaning on him. Land of three. Yes. Oh, he doesn't shoot much. Ryan Morton for three. That's incredible. I'll see him shoot a lot. He, he looked confident when he released it, too, didn't he? He, he, he can shoot the three. He, he sits out there and gets that three down there. And a whistle. Stepped out of bounds, it looked like. Well, the mini uh, comeback got it down to six at 27-21. That's been the highlight for this Lake Zurich Bear team. They now trail by 17. And since then, it's 14 to three. Yeah. That's when Wabonzi got their timeout and said, OK, boys, Let's play. time to sweat. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Days. They just turned it on. Into the lane. Backward dish. Moses Wilson for three. No. We'll take those shots all night. Anton with the rebound. He'll bring it up a couple of dribbles. Let's see if they get a quick score here. Oh, right through his hands. He was ready to make a move before he got the basketball yeah, coach. Looked like a Bears wide receiver. That's there. right. That's right. The Bears play like the Bears. Elijah Whitaker checks back in for Lobansi Valley. The final minute it is there here in the third quarter, 17 point lead for the Warriors. Cross the timeline, Kate Valick in there. Now he's on an angle right. Tricky dribble as we set up shop there. They'll play catch here a little bit, we would see. It's not, they're not too concerned. They're gonna take final shot time, aren't they, coach? Gonna yeah. try to do it, Coleman. Coleman, back it is to Coleman. 21 seconds, cradle the basketball. Couple of fake moves, does it again. Will he get it back? No, no, got down to 13 seconds. Basketball on the hip far side over there. Coleman again, it's Coleman time now. We're down to seven, five. Coleman, one on one, his own foot gets in the way. Hey, we've got a shot potential. Here it is, Carroll for three. Yes, Carroll for three. There's a highlight reel. Big, big finish for the Bears. It big is. finish for the Bears. Wow. Let's see that three. Ryan Carroll, the senior, makes it 41-27. Here we go, Casamini cooling. That is nice. a great shot. Nice. That quarter, if you're charting tied, it all. Tied, tied. That quarter was tied. Played them even. Yeah. Played them 25 even. 25-11 to 41-27. Bears 27. really came out ready to go that 16, quarter. 16-16, that's probably. Played this team even. The first team that has played Wabonsi Valley even in a quarter this year. Well, it is this tournament. I know that. I don't know about the year. <laughs> well, you know, they stand Boy. pretty up with They all have all the wins so far. Daryl Barnes comes to mind for you. Daryl Barnes, of course, you know, Dad and his son, a, a great uh, student. He was here at Beacon Academy, now down in Florida. Daryl Barnes Photography, for all your photography needs, for portraits, graduation photos, sports scene photos, and more, visit Daryl online at www.darylbarnes.com. You want a phone number, 972 203 Five seven six seven. Daryl Barnes, photography. That was an excellent quarter for the Lake Zurich Bears. Played them dead even, and made them work. Yeah, made them work. Did they sweat? It's good to see. I think that I saw a bead of sweat coming All in. Right. I think so. You made it happen. I think so. It, Congratulations. You know, that was a that was a nice quarter by the the Bears. It was. And it, 
One to three up there to wrap it up. Here we go, and they've got the ball. So let's see what can happen. We got eight minutes left in the championship tilt here from Jacobs High School, Algonquin, Illinois. The classic it is. Oh, there's a steal. That's not good. Let's zigzag through traffic. But they've got to slow it down now. This is where they have trouble when they play conventional basketball for court. Pitch, uh, we should say that's going to be Whitaker here. Elijah Whitaker backward forward. Dish it off he does. Near side it goes to Coleman. Tyreek has got a play in mind. Tyreek. One dribble left hand. Morton around the horn. Far side. Goes back to Whitaker. Elijah has a dribble yet. Does now. Tricky dribble, no advantage, and turned it over. Yeah, again, that play is what you've talked about for all the tournament, Coach. That conventional four-court play doesn't yeah. happen easy for them. No, they, like Zurich, when they, when they make them play half court, they're right with them. Yeah. There'll be plenty of practice sessions for them about that before <laughs> state time. Land three. Rivet, no. Board, Morton. He'll bring it to Brian Carroll, we should say. Carroll, who had that three. Down deep, it goes back to Carroll. Carroll, fling it. See, they get it back to Carroll here in the crowd. And a, a whistle of some sort. Whistle down against Wabansi Valley. So let's see how this will size up. Whitaker the foul. First team foul in this quarter. Inbounding underneath their own hoop. They've got to lob it tall and do. They get it to Carroll. Carroll for three. Rimmett oh. got this time. Almost. In and out. Off it goes. It's going to remain in the hands of the Bears, though. Carroll's the man who closed the quarter with the three. Let's see if they can get that lob into the big man here. Don't get yeah. too big a crowd around him. Give him some room to operate, and you can lob it into him. Yeah, here it is. But he's going backwards with it. So he's going to take a conventional about 15-footer short. Rebound a teammate, though. It's going to go in. Strauss to two. 41, 29, we've got a fourth quarter, Coach. Yeah, we do. Very good. Fourth court. Good. Coleman brings it back out. Dish it far side. On the near side here, it's Morton. Hey, down the lane, it goes shot. No, here they come. They can cut it to under 10. And they lose it, get it back. Spin move, big Anton's tied up. It's either a foul or a hell ball. It'd be a foul. foul. Going to free throw line. They'll have a chance to make it just 10. Ryan Morton, his third foul. And that will go to the line. Couple of shots here. And the crowd hush at 6.20 remaining in this championship game. This one is good. 41-30 substitution for the Warriors. Moses Wilson in. And sitting down is going to be Elijah Whitaker. Second one, yeah, it's 10. Coach, you couldn't have drew it up better than this. This is good. 41-31. Good game, good game. These are great possessions, very important possessions if the Mighty Mites, Lake Zurich, going to knock off the big boys of Wabansi Valley. Into the lane, opens up. Boy, that's beautiful. That was that beautiful on that one. set is a great player, he isn't he? Is. Yes. Here's the opportunity of Popovich across the timeline. He's got Kretzmara on his left, goes to him. Kane dribbles twice, bullet pass. Pass went back to, uh, went from Carroll to Kretzmara. Around the horn, land, oh, rejected. Swatted away that time. Nice rejection, hey, that's by one of the guys, that's by Ryan Morton, regular 6'2 lad. Yeah, he is. Parted. Let's see it, he parted away like a big bear. Yeah, he? he plays the bottom against of that the zone. Bears. Yeah, watch this. Here it comes, and bang. Let's see what happened here. Land of three this time again, coach. Yeah! Yes! Popovich. Popovich for three. 43 34. We're under 10. Cade steps out. It's 43 34. And Lake Zurich has the basketball. Wow. 5 32 remaining. They haven't been challenged this year in really the fourth quarter. Proud of the Bears. Yeah. Boy, they've hung in there. Popovich. Making them work. Out on top, Popovich. Get in. It is. Oh, no, it looked like a good one there. Oh, quickly the other way. Here it's comes a one on two break, but he's so fast, he'll draw the foul. Yeah. Wow. That's that where they score all court. that transition. They do. That, that's a Coleman with the long jaunt up court. 
Watch where the foul takes place, coach. Too bad that three couldn't have dropped. Really. Yeah, push, a little push for the body. So Coleman to the free throw line. They got it under nine. This is a, a moral victory to this point by Lake Zurich against a, a mighty my team. The first one, good. Back to 10, 44-34. 5-13 remain in regulation. He'll walk it off. He's trying to walk something off there, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think he turned it a little bit when he came yeah, down. So but, you know. He will take that jaw and shoot again. He's, he's got good form from the free throw line. good. Nice touch. Yeah, Coleman has eight. 45-34. Let's see how this is. Oh, they're playing their 1-2-2 two, two now, Coach, aren't they? Playing yeah, that 1-2-2 two, two trap. Press, one, two, two. Yeah. Get it across Ball the top. Back in the 3-2. Down the corner. They went. Oh, big guy's got it. This could be two. No. Oh, no. We're, oh, got it back. This could be two. No. This could be two. No. And he <laughs> gets so fouled. close down there. Wow. And pounding the board. That is mini shooting that didn't go, but the oh, foul yeah, takes yeah. place. He got a free throw. That was great intensity down low, wasn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Straight to call at the line. So now the crowd hushes, and the first one is no good. Uh, we need to hit every free throw. By all means, this team would be. Your fans know. So a second one. See if we get it back to 10. It was at 9 for a brief moment. He's going to make that one. 45, 35, 452 remain. Kate Ballack in there again, inbounding. Back off a little bit, although we see defensively it's going to be uh, number 20 out there. That's Strauss. They get it in the forecourt. Let's see how they play now, coach. They get it to Tariq. Coleman near side. Is it one-on-one -on -one time with Coleman? Maybe, maybe not. Cade, he'll dish it right back. Far side, they're going to dish it out on top. Moses had it for a moment. Morton. Cade. They're taking time off the time. Yeah, they are. They're, They've got the court game. Patient. Yeah, they are. And then said, wait a minute, that's enough of that. And up and in. Was set with that one. He Trey, saw a brief opening, didn't he? A he he's got three layups now, just driving through traffic to the to the paint. He's got 20 points on the game. And down with it. Down low, got to get it. He's got to always got to shoot it there. Tough pass there. There it was. In the lane. For, for, uh, we should say 47-35. Popovich on defense there. See how they play it. Moses, Wilson on the right. They go to Cade. Cade along three. Wasn't that necessary, that shot, we would think. But we'll take it. Bring it up, they will. Quickly up court. Anton running. Falling out of bounds. Keeps it alive. Around the horn. Popovich for three. Block. Taken down. And I think they're going to slow it up a little bit. Oh, take it away. It's Kretzmar took it away. Is it a foul? What was I it? I don't know what happened. Oh, no, no foul. No foul no and foul. no basket. Took it away. Kind of flipped it up. There. Morton for three. I think I'd hang on to it for a while. Wouldn't you coach in this situation? Because wow. some of the non-shooters are shooting for Wabansi Valley. That was just a hesitation. It didn't go. In a floater. Go. 10-point game again. Strauss, 47-37 it is. That's what we have, 2.55 remaining. On the, if, if we're looking for, when we get down for the post game, we'll talk with the winning team out front, just about everybody out front. Whoever wins, we're gonna talk with everybody out there. That's what we have. Uh, a one player all-star. Uh, oh, one player, oh, on south. We're, we're going back to another game as we, we oh, a wise guys here. We'll give you, as we talk with this for just a little bit, we can talk with uh, Carlson on South. 47, 37 the count. Wise Guys Pizzeria, best pizza in town. Whoever, we, we should do, hold it right here, as we tell you, as well as all catering options for your next party, family, or company event. www.imawiseguy.com. <laughs> Wise Guy Pizzeria. Coach, you tell our, our great teacher here who South uh, uh, Alternament Man was. Can you do that? South Soul Tournament? Yeah, is that what you're asking? Crystal Lake South? South? AJ. Uh, or are you looking for looking for Lake Zurich? Over this game? Well, tell me what you're looking for. The Lake Zurich, this is my winning squad, Wabansi Valley. We will go outside with all those guys. We'll bring everybody out there. We'll look for the men that are called. You're going to get number, uh, the uh, man right here. As we talk with you, just a moment. I'll find him. We were looking at Trey Bissett, 3, and also Tariq Coleman, 12. 
But we'll invite everybody out. Okay, we'll invite everybody. Three, three and 12, but again, we, yes, we decided we'd write everybody out. So three and 12 are the key for that. <laughs> there we go. 37, 47 is the count as we make uh, range for our post-game show. Oh, we've got to talk with everybody. Yeah, yeah. it's Blissett and Coleman, three and 12, we'll tell everybody, in the truck, but everybody will be on that dossier if they win with the trophy. Same way for Lake Zurich. Here we go. Far side, ooh, dribble drive in there. Lane opens up. No! Well, it's got it. The ball, 225 remain. Only 10 points. Here's the shot. Can we get one away here quickly, coach? Or a good shot, and then maybe a steal. Key moment here. If there is a magical comeback here, Popovich. Popovich, ditch into the corner. Shot. No. Board. And we might have fouled. It's a yeah, push. He pushed. Off. He pushed. <laughs> so that, that ends that threat there. 2 11 remain. It will be the, in the hands of Lavonsi Valley, the Warriors. And we will inbound here. Having trouble inbounding, coach. Oh, knocked away. That's the toughest inbound they've had all the yeah, it is. And they lost it. Just keep right here. 2 10 remaining. This ain't over yet. It's 10 points. It would be a, a mountain to climb. But the uh, feisty Lake Zurich team is hanging potentially in there, aren't they, Coach? Yes, they are. Here we go, inbound. Now, inbound tall. It's going to be right back at his land of three. Kretzmar, no. Out it comes. Rebound. Oh, they battle for it. Is it a foul or a held ball? Jump ball. Jump ball it is. It's going to the warrior on the, if you will. Goes to them, so 47, 37, 203 remain. Pressure being applied, having trouble getting it in. Fling it, they do. And boy, there's a battle for it. We're into that scrub you're talking Another about. Jump. Held ball going the other way. Now it's going to be like Wow, ball. 159 on the top piece. This is exciting basketball. A quality team being tested. Yes, they are. 40, 47, 37, take a look at this real quickly while we continue. Having trouble getting the ball yeah, inbound. And then, I got it, right like that, great yep. work. Here it is. We've got 158 on the timepiece. Can we get a shot away here? Good defense here being applied by Wabansi Valley. Shot, no, board, oh, foul. I think Popovich is over yep. the back. One of the guys was. It is Popovich. So there, we learned from the family itself that it's Popovic to look at, but Popovic is if there was an H. There you we go. learned in the post game, like Paul, oh, he'll come, Paul Popovic. <laughs> Keon Haynes will check back in. Number 10 for the Bears. That look from the foul. Okay, yeah. putting oh, that's a foul, guys. Foul. That's right. That rule you talked about. Get my men off the bench and get fouled. Foul. They yeah, foul. Because I don't. Uh, well, they didn't get him. Uh, uh, they missed it. Right here. Uh, they get more than so quick. They can't catch him. 142 catch remain. Him. Catch him somewhere. Just go get him. Go get him. That's what it is. Finally, Kretzmar with the foul. The mission was to foul immediately with the men off the bench. You talked about that. If I'm in trouble, just simply keep following with the men off the bench. Yeah. You're not in foul trouble. They we saw it. They got to follow it again. As they keep doing it. Well, inbound here, 138. Ryan Carroll back in. So that means they'll go more for the steal, not for the quick foul. No, they will. Foul. Uh, they'll, still, they'll foul. They could get that foul there. Foul them. Nick, foul them. Grab them. Somebody grab them. Yeah, they can't catch them. They're letting they're them play. They're not calling it. They're, they're not. They're they, following they, them. They just didn't call boy, it. Body contact <laughs> yeah. there. Okay. Whitaker had the ball. That one they just couldn't let go. He grabbed Yeah. It was kind of a, just a push foul, like you're in an elevator. Get out of the way. They go to the line. 129 remain. It's been a, a very interesting championship game, to say the least, with we'll Wabonsi Valley. Yeah, Wabonsi Valley jumped out to that big early lead. Ever since that end of the first quarter, Lake Zurich Bears been right with them all the yeah. way. Really proud of them, the way they've played tonight against a championship caliber team. And uh, Wabonsi Valley at least saw some things maybe they could work on now, go back home and work on for the next level of play that they have. Yeah, the Zurich, uh, Lake Zurich has outscored them by five points in the second half. It was 25-11, a 16-point lead. Now it's at 11. It was at 10. It was at 9 at one point. 
So another free throw it is for Whitaker. Elijah is a 6'2 senior. He hears the scream and he misses the shot. Thank you for the scream. Here it is. Quickly up court. They'll have to fling a three quickly. They'll have to get something very quickly. Corner down deep. Big guy overthrow him. And it's going to be stolen there by looks like Morton. And, and there was a foul. See who they, of course, that was a foul. So we'll shoot again. And that foul was actually Moses Wilson. Looks like they pushed down. And he'll go to the line. It is Wilson at the line. 48-37. Now's when you got to know when to stop fouling and yeah, when to play see, it out. Yeah. So they, right now they're 11 down. That lady's doing good work for her. That's been that so, gentleman. You know, Several screams. Oh, now two for two. They're, they're so going to put them at the line. Hope they miss a few and we can knock down a few buckets. So Wilson will try again. Sights it. Shoots it. One for three. They were in the free throw war there. 49-37, or one for four, we should say. Can we get a shot away? Fling it. No problem with that. No, air ball. And there's another foul. No, they don't foul. Going to let him just play here or grab here when he went across the timeline. Looks like we're just going to let him play. Cade with it. Cade out on top, around the horn, down to 58 seconds. It's 49-37. Trying to play conventional basketball now and not play the foul game. No. And that's what's happening right now. Fling it to Cade. Valley might be fouled. No, it's batted away. They're doing great ball handling here. With it on the far side, Ryan Morton. Morton is going to dish it to a, not his teammate. A turnover. They got it. 35 second range. It's Strauss in the lane. No. It's taken the other way. Valley. No foul, they're saying right now. No, no foul. Yes, let them play. We can bounce off a little bit, shove them, but let's uh, not follow them. It's time to let it go. Yeah, there it is, 18 seconds. We'll play but it Lake out here. Zurich did a great job of hanging in this game. They really did. Made, made Mabazi push for a few minutes there. Mabazi found some things. They'll be able to work on their half-court game now, get that in order, because they are a great, great ball club. A deserving champion here at the tournament. 49-37. 20 points for Trey Blissett. And that's where we stand right there. Now we're going to make a run out there. We're going to have the presentation in here, aren't we, Coach? So we stay here for a while because your presentation of the trophies in, in here. And we'll keep that here. But we'll get ready to assemble outside and talk with certainly uh, Trey Blissett, number three. I think I was telling that correctly when they wondered who we should get. And Tariq Coleman, 12. But the whole team will be up there. We'll talk with everybody from from Babansi Valley. So let, let's stay right here for a minute. Let's see if we can capture this moment. We'll tell the truck. Um, yeah, or we can wait for medals, what you're saying? Okay, we will. We're announcing the all-tournament team. Who was announced from Lake Zurich? I missed that one, Coach. That would be Popovich. As we said, Popovich. And Stronikov. For Lake and Stronikov. Yeah, as you predicted, as we knew. So good work for Wabansi Valley. We'll have the. Trey Blissett is on there, as we said, and then here, number 12. Tyreek Coleman will be next. Will be the next name. That's it. Those are the men we're going to spotlight amongst all the other squad members for our post-game show. And Moses Wilson. We'll talk with Moses as well. In this game here tonight, we've already lost off the top. Coleman had 20 points, I do believe, Coach. So here's the trophy, and we'll follow this trophy out into the outer walkway of the venue here. We'll get a good look at the trophy, Coach. That's your trophy. That was in your house all year, wasn't it? So second place, that was there. And now first place, we'll get, as we see the Bears, We're going to have dignitaries. We're headed out there. We're headed out there. It's, we're, we're going to go out there in a moment. Yeah, we're headed that way. We're going to do that now with the picture. I'm, we're going to shoot up from here. Now we can tell everybody as the pictures are taking. We've got all the announcements. We're going to end our broadcast here and go out for the outer way.
for our post-game show. So stick with us and enjoy these highlights. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're live just like that. We were talking to the guys. Let me hear your name, young man. Tyree Cola. I knew it. And you? Treshawn Blissett. I knew it. You guys, well, you had 20 tonight. And uh, until tonight, you guys weren't really tested in this adventure. But it got a little close in the third quarter, didn't it? How'd you guys feel with that? Uh, we knew that it was going to come out with a spark. They was down. Uh, they had a bad first half, so we knew that it was going to come out looking to get a spark to go into the fourth quarter. They had a crowd section, so they was probably going to play off energy. We just had to shut it down early. And you know, a great coach right here. I was just wanting to see a little sweat. Is it? You did. You had to sweat a little bit, you know. I'm so proud of you guys. You got a nice ball club. What I'm hoping is not only you're a worthy champion here at our tournament, I'm hoping you're using this as a stepping stone <laughs> way high come the end of this year. I love your team. You guys do a great job. You guys got great talent. Hey, we got everybody here. Can we get everybody? What do you guys wait? Let me tell me your weights before you enter over here. Come on up here. Bring that trophy up here, guys. Bring that trophy up. Bring it up. There you see it, kids. I'm in the back row. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, no, that's all right. Congratulations. Go out the team, everybody, family. Get your get your pictures now and take a look at that trophy. Dano, jump down, Dano. Yeah, moms, moms, dads, our camera. Yeah, we're here. I'm over here. I'm enjoying it. Coach, come on out. Let's get our coach out. Let me see. If, let me walk around you guys for a minute. Watch this for a second. We're, ten se Oh, we got ten seconds. Say, say, we'll say congratulations, you guys. Give us a yell. And that's our 10 seconds in our championship. Bye bye.
This sports broadcast made possible with support from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling. Powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town. Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at imawiseguy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at tomtheplumberinc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at darylbarnes.com.